Hi! Welcome to Anime Adventures. We're finally gonna be playing some more of this game, but before I get into that, I'm sorry for being so infrequent and inconsistent with my upload schedule. I promise that I'm actually gonna be getting right back into it and following my schedule once again with all that good stuff. Because honestly, I I want I've been meaning to. I've been I've been it's it's been a little bit of a mess. But I can explain. Honestly, it's just not what I planned on doing and I wanted to continue to upload frequently not just for you guys but for myself. So I kind of let myself down a little bit as well. But anyway, the reason why that was all happening, why it was why it has been taking me so long to actually be consistent with my videos once again is because I've actually been doing a ton of research. I've been really taking my time every single day since the days that I haven't been consistently uploading, just sitting there and researching over and over again on several different aspects of content creation so that way this can be a full-time job for me in the future if everything goes according to plan, which things probably won't, but that's fine because the idea that I had in mind was setting this up in a way and doing what I wanted for content creation. I just, just getting all that perfectly streamlined so that way I can have this as my career in the future. I have figured it out, man. Oh, thank God. But anyway, so for Anime Adventures, at least on my main account, I don't know if I'm ever going to do alternate accounts. We will find out in the future, I guess. But on my main account for Anime Adventures, I've gotten a lot done. I'm going to get you guys caught up to date. And then I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys my plans for this game and what this type of video is. And if it's going to end up in a series or what. Not things like that. In my last video I made on Anime Adventures, I talked about my dream team, I believe, and that has since changed, mainly because of different updates that were happening, specifically update 13, as we can see right here. And that update kind of made me think differently and theory craft myself a different team or a different set of teams, which you guys are 100% welcome to discuss it with me in the comment section below or even join my own discord server where we can talk about it and theory craft there together as well because one of the things i do want to do for the games that i cover is of course get it a little bit into the game analysis and the theory crafting of them all because of the fact that i am a very big person whenever it comes to talking about a game i didn't know how to perfect that idea by the way one of my problems is that i loved the idea of talking about a game but i am not very an informative guide type of person as much as i used to be like i'm down to teach people how to do certain things or aspects of the game and whatnot but i'd much rather just talk about the game rather than teach the game if you, that makes sense like I, I love both but if i had to pick definitely just talking about it a lot is what i prefer my dream team now at the very least has changed from what it was once before because that was a little bit more of a bleed slash physical focus team Oh my god, it's Luffy. Oh my god. The reason why I'm sad about that is because ever since this update dropped, I have not been able to pull a singular new unit from this the update. Oh my god, hold on. We gotta try to do this. Please, game. Give me Luffy, man. This is actually one of the people I have on my dream team. Please, just- I got- Oh my god, I got epic superior. Oh, I got- I even got a shiny Vegeta, dude. Are you kidding me? To make things even worse, though, too, I haven't been able to get a singular mythic in such a long time. Let alone trying to get Luffy, man. Oh my god. I'm gonna use all my summons. I used so many gems already. Dude, this is such a pain. I'm dying. Oh my god. Oh. So, one of the reasons why I want Luffy so bad and why... If, if this actually ties in perfectly to what I'm doing anyways. I want Luffy so bad because Luffy is actually going to be used in two of my dream teams. I actually have several dream teams set up for myself right now. Which goes all up to, I think it was four teams in total that I want to create for myself. And I'll tell you guys all about them all here in a moment. I'm losing my mind. I am losing it. I am, oh my god, dude. I can't, I can't get Luffy, bro. I can't. Oh my god, I'm like, why? And the reason why I'm so upset is I've spent thousands of gems and I've only gotten like two mythics if, since this update and the two mythics I got were both off banner pools. It was Jelena and it was White Hair, which is White Beard, of course. And it's also been, basically, Luffy's been on the banner several different times. I've definitely spent upwards of 20,000 gems alone on trying to pull for Luffy with luck potions and i even double luck potion up a, a couple times and i still can't get 
Luffy, even if they're the main middle character in the Mythic Banner. My luck has since ran out ever since I was able to get Doki first try in my Entertainment District Act 5 run. And then on top of that, I got this Lost Vein Relic, which was four hits. And then on top of that, I got Celestial in my Doki. So my Doki is insane. Anyway, I just wanted to get Luffy. I can't get Luffy and there's just so many gems. And I want Luffy so bad because I use the, Luffy in several of my teams. But anyway, my dream team is now, at least for my dream infinite team. You guys can feel free to theory craft and discuss this with me in the comment section or the Discord server, as I said before. Because I want to be able to perfect this. And I want to be able to theory craft and discuss and analyze what actually could be the best teams possible out there, right? But essentially, what I want for my infinite team is I want Luffy, Doflamingo, Daki, Gitaro, Oshi, and Bulma. The reason why is because Luffy would be my hybrid, being able to target both ground and flying enemies. Flamingo is just a very good DPS overall. Finally, another unit that's challenging the likes of Dio over Heaven, at least in this game, of course. And then we have Daki, which will do a good amount of DPS on top of applying Bleed which will then boost the damage output from my Gutaro, which is just even better for DPS. And then, of course, we have Oshi to boost damage even more and also give me discounts so that way I can actually max out my units faster and Bulma for my farm since it is an infinite run. And we want the most amount of money we can get uh, per wave. Now, for the Dream Story team of mine, there's times where you run into these situations where you run into a flying enemy that gets spawned in and it's like wave three or something stupid, right? Like... You don't have anything set up perfectly for a flying enemy and they just show up. It's way early in the round. So if we're keeping that in mind, and let's also keep in mind like single DPS, like when you place a singular unit down, that's kind of the focus here. So infinite team was more focused on overall group DPS. The story team is more focused on a single unit's DPS if it's just that singular unit placed by itself to max. And with that, I chose Golden Frieza because again, we needed something to be able to at least be able to deal with those flying enemies early on. Other options are out there, but I liked the idea of using Golden Frieza because Golden Frieza, you can upgrade to max and then it would basically just scale up from there and it would be a very good unit to have in a story mode. Because when I, the way that I see story mode is that we're talking about anything that's less than wave 20. So everything up to wave 20, and then it, that's that's my dream story team right there. But anyway, so we have Golden Frieza specifically so that way it can be a hill unit. That way it targets both ground and flying enemies. Then we have my Luffy again, uh, mainly just because I wanted to have a hybrid that was also really solid in terms of actual singular DPS. And Luffy is essentially that for me. Flamingo again, Flamingo, I mean, if you don't have Flamingo, you better go and try to get it because Flamingo's DPS is actually insane. And then for the aspect of at least having something to assist me, because I do need a support unit for this entire team, I want to get Gojo. Now, I have Gojo already as well, but I want to—I don't have him evolved, but I want to get Gojo on the team specifically for the time stop ability. Now, I know that there is better time stop characters out there, such as Dio over Heaven, but that would require me to get Dio over Heaven. So I'm going to pick Gojo instead of anything else for my support unit. I was considering using Poochie, but when I thought about it, I'd rather freeze time than boost my attack damage being dealt. Time stop with Gojo is, just seemed better to me. And then, of course, we have Oshi and Speedwagon in that team as well. Now, I would tell you guys more about my Bleed slash Physical team and the Magic team that I have, but just know that those are just kind of sitting there waiting to be worked on. I don't really want to explain that in this video since I'm already talking so much about my dream teams. But yeah, I do want to have a physical team and a magic team. But of course, my physical team is going to be more focused on bleed because physical and bleed kind of just go hand in hand. But yeah, that's one of the reasons why I want Luffy so bad is because Luffy is on so many of my teams. And it's really upsetting me greatly at the fact that I cannot pull this guy. But now if I do show you guys the units that I have for all my teams, we can at least see that I'm starting to set them up here. We have my infinite team on the top and then my story team in the secondary slot here. So those are my two teams that are a work in progress for me to actually obtain them because I need Luffy, and I also need Flamingo. Flamingo, I'm grinding super hard to get, and I'll talk about how we get that here in a moment, but then it's also, I'm, I gotta get Luffy. I can't, I can't pull him. I, I've, I've gotten all the evil materials I need for him. I mean, I, I mean, other than the stars, probably, but, like, look at how many fruits I have. Look, look at this. 79. I don't need 79 of these things right now. Please. 
Give me Luffy and give me Flamingo, man. But anyways, how we're supposed to get Flamingo is we go to the play area, we go and get ourselves in the elevator, then we're trying to do the Puppet Island Infinite mode for us to get portals. Then from those portals, we have like a 1% or 2% drop chance as the host or whatever to get a secret portal. And then we have to beat the secret portal, which is 20 waves, and the boss is like 30 million HP or something like that. And then if you beat that, you're at, if he, and if you're the host, you get a guaranteed flamingo. If you're not the host, it's like 5% or something like that. And that that's your chance of getting flamingo from that. Dude, I can't get into string portals, which is the secret portal, let alone be able to get one myself. It is such a grind, and it is such a pain in my ass. I don't even know where to begin. Ugh. I'm just so sick and tired of it, man. And on top of that, my team right now, like my best units, you're looking at them right here, right? My best unit is Docky. And now that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just like Aizen's DPS in comparison, Itachi's DPS in comparison, Shigaraki's DPS in comparison. Now, don't get me wrong. These are all still amazing units. We're talking about meta units here. It's just that they are more AoE focused than they are dps focus because where aizen itachi and shigaraki get a lot of their damage output from is from them solely just being a huge aoe unit they have a very nice damage spread across several enemies i need more singular target dps units so that way i can actually survive for longer now i'm not gonna say or discredit that you know the whole aoe units aren't valuable but they're not the only thing you should have in a team. For example, I have a close friend of mine who has a unique Escanor or a unique Pride, and that that is their main damage output source right there. But on top of that, they also have other units that could either support Escanor by either slowing or stunning the enemies, so that way they stay in the AoE of the Escanor longer, or maybe there will be something different that they have where they have another DPS that can add on top of Escanor or something like that, a little bit more focused and streamlined, and I like that idea more. I like having a mixed match sort of thing, which is, again is the reason why I'm trying to make this stream team here, because now as much as this may not have like an AoE for my infinite, Docky is kind of my AoE. Docky's AoE is huge, even though that it's not as big as, let's say, Aizen's, for example. It's amazing. But anyway, yeah, I need to go and get that stuff done. From all I really did from the last time that I made a video is I basically grinded until I got Oshi. Of course, I uh, evolved her as well. I changed up my team a bit, and I found out that the reason why my friends like Speedwagon more as a farm other than other units is because you just get the highest amount of uh, return on your investment on Speedwagon in comparison to other farms. Basically meaning that you get the money that you spend placing and upgrading Speedwagon faster than other farms. That's that's why my friends and I like Speedwagon. But anyway, I just need to get Luffy and Flamingo and everything should be fine with these teams, but the grind has been so rough lately that it just feels like I, the, both those things are unachievable. Now, I have done a little bit of Infinity Castle, which is one of the highest recommendations of like getting a lot of gems fast. But I, I I got to like room 10 and then I went and summoned on it and it was like 3,000 gems at the time again on Luffy and I still have not been able to get Luffy. I don't know what's with my luck. I don't understand it at all. And then on top of that, I also want to be able to go through the Demon Academy portals and get more units out of there. There's three units to get from that. I only have one of them and I don't even have it evolve and then I need to get, evolve all three of them so that way I don't miss out. I have a severe case of FOMO, which is the fear of missing out. And let me tell you, man, it is severe at this rate. Now, I did do the tournament a little bit as well, and we got to number 83 in the last tournament. Uh, you know, that's actually not that bad, but looking at the percentage, that's not great either. I'm number 92 right now with a 70 percentile. It is boss waves with no traits, which is very nice. It makes it a lot more free-to-play friendly. And it is on, I believe it was the Ant Kingdom. It's a bit difficult because of the flying enemies. And I don't really, I guess I could use Hanji. And then I'd be able to deal a little bit more damage or whatnot. But the tournament's not really that easy. So I'm actually unironically pretty happy with my placement here. It's not ideal. It's not perfect. But I don't want to try hard unless I get my dream team. Oh, and on top of my Docky, I didn't even talk about this. I actually got her stats to be S plus S and A plus. Now that's not perfect. But goddamn, if that ain't good. <laughs> it is very, very good. My donkey's been able to compete with other characters' DPSs. It's insane. 
I think a lot of people actually sleep on Doki's potential DPS output because of the fact that she could do a DPS output on average of roughly 70,000 if you let all of her bleed ticks kick in as well. So she has insane DPS output. Now anyways, let's go ahead and actually talk about my daily routine here so that way you guys have an idea of what I do for my dailies here. I basically immediately stop by Nami and I go ahead and accept all of her quests even though I might not get them done. It's just nice to basically have them and be like, okay, yeah, I can get those done or something. And then right after that, I like to go to the summoning area and then talk to whatever character is here because this rotates out, of course, right? So then right now it's Law and then I go ahead and accept the quest here and then basically I'm pretty sure he just tells you to go and kill a couple puppets i could be wrong though i'm not entirely sure i can't find it right now anyway but you go and grab that quest and then after that then i like to start doing my daily quest so i go over to my quest and i go to my dailies mine haven't reset yet i get all of my dailies done and then i go and check my infinites and then i do my daily infinites get those done after i get the infinites and the quests done i immediately go down to the daily challenge area and try and get the daily challenge done as soon as possible because I do like to get my rewards from that. It can range from like star remnants and stat rerolls, stuff like that. And we like to use remnants right now, mainly because I like to try and reroll my speed wagon. Right now, I'm, I got speed wagon on range one. I did try to reroll Oshi a little bit and I got culling, which I mean, it's Oshi. I want, I want golden on Oshi, golden on speed wagon. I managed to get Celestial somehow on Doki, which is insane. And then after I do the daily challenge, I would usually go to the raid area and do the Act 5s of certain raids. But for example, I think I would only do the Act 5s for Storm, West City, and Entertainment District. Just because they have like a daily reset on them and they give pretty solid rewards. So I, I try to get those done as well. And then right after that, I like to do around 6 Infinity Castle rooms. And then I pretty much just start grinding then right after that now what i want to try for this video in particular at the very least is i want to see how far we've come with just overall progressing in this game by doing a puppet island infinite by myself and we're gonna see how far i can get while soloing this now i'm not as set for this as other people are hold on let me go ahead and quickly change up my team to include bulma instead there we go i'm not as prepared as other people would be for this but it's worth a shot at giving it a nice solid attempt the main issue with my team is that I rely a lot on Aizen to be a hybrid unit as soon as possible. And the reason why that's such an issue is because depending on how things might go, I might not be able to get that done sooner enough for this one. But you know what? We're at least going to try. We're going to place Bulma down, maybe get an upgrade or two, and then try to place down a Doki over in this circular area so that way Doki can continuously apply damage and maybe even get us a little bit of money while we're in the middle of trying to set up our Aizen, but it is going to be a very, very close call here. Alright, so we already placed uh, my Bulma. Let's go ahead and get an upgrade for my Bulma and then place my Doki. Also, my Lost Vein Relic isn't even like a super insane version of the Lost Vein, but the fact that it's four hits and then you can do a guaranteed crit that part alone is actually really insane if you think about it, but yeah, no, it's not good enough. I think we can also use four Dockies here. I think we're going to need to. It may not be ideal in terms of like actual money, but it is going to be ideal for defending myself. Okay, there we go. We have all of my Dockies placed, and now we're just going to start focusing on getting money. We're going to keep an eye out for any flying enemies for right now. I'm trying my best to not have to upgrade any of the Dockies yet because I don't want to place my Oshi too early. I also don't want to have to worry about placing my oshi too soon or even upgrading without having my oshi having a couple upgrades herself because that could result in a little bit of a mess here also i still don't know about the new enemy type because apparently with this update there was supposed to be a new enemy type of some sort and i still haven't seen it maybe it's from the new secret portal or something i literally cannot tell i have no clue what it is okay so now we have our first flying enemies here with forty one thousand hp which normally wouldn't be a problem as long as you had a air targeting unit that can target the whole flying enemies or whatnot. But as I do not, at least not right off the bat, I'm going to have to try and focus getting my eyes in set up, which shouldn't be too big a problem because if they do get further down here, I can always place eyes in down here somewhere, which should be fine. But it's a matter of guessing, which is the problem. I have to essentially guess where the flying enemies will get by the time I'm able to actually place and upgrade 
I've and already my dockies are starting to struggle a tiny little bit here, but it seems like we're gonna be fine for now. I'm trying to put my dockies around this circle because whenever I upgrade them, they'll be able to cover a lot of this, and probably I think it goes all the way down here even too. Docky's range is insane. Dude, there's just so many good things about the Docky too in general. Uh, is here. So we have Bulma maxed out. And now we're going to go ahead and place my Oshi and try to upgrade this. This should also upgrade the damage output of my Docky's regardless anyway. So we should be fine. Also, the music for Oshi is fire, dude. Another thing too, though, is I actually... Whenever you get Oshi, you get the idol emote, and it's become my new favorite emote. I love this emote so much. It's just nice for me to be able to chill and just dance over here. Okay, so I have 53,000 HP, so as long as I'm able to kill one of them, it should be fine. Okay, so now we have a maxed out Oshi as well. I'm a little concerned about it, though, because we are going to have to try and place my eyes in... Let's just... Let's just place my eyes in here. The main reason I'm nervous is because I need my Bulma to generate enough money so that way I can actually be able to fully upgrade my eyes in while on top of my uh, Dockies need to be able to produce money by just dropping enemies left and right. But now the question is, is will I be able to pull it off in time? Because these guys are almost there. I guess I do have Aizen's ability, which might save me. But that is a big maybe. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use the ability, which I just did. And then we're hopefully going to get my money. Please, game, give me the money. Oh, it's not enough. Oh, it's not enough. Oh, my God. Oh. You see, maybe I would be able to actually handle doing this infinite mode by myself or something if I actually had maybe like Sakura to at least be able to tank that. Or if I had a hybrid that I can upgrade faster or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. It might be because of the fact that I decided to place four Dockies instead of one. I know that I'm able to solo Fabled Kingdom a little bit. You know, we're going to go ahead and do a replay. We're going to try it one last time for the sake of the video. To me, this is a true testament to see how much I've truly progressed in this game. Maybe I hold off on Docky until it gets to the point where I really should start worrying about placing Docky or something too. It's hard, man. It's like you just never know when to actually put something down or when to worry about something either. It's just, it's really a mess. And I'm not sure if there's any other better way to get portals because to me, is it, I just thought that it was just going Puppet Island Infinite mode over and over again until wave 60 and then you basically just leave and restart it. But then again, I've seen people only get like one portal after doing that. Like they'll do a wave 60 and then they'll stop and then they'll notice that they have like nothing, which is really rough. All right, I'm gonna try just one docky for right now. I don't wanna have to try and worry about an extra docky. And then on top of that, my Aizen should technically be able to deal with extra enemies that pass my docky. So whenever I consider the fact that some things will get past my docky, but my eyes will be there. I think I'll be all right whenever I consider that. For example, I think that this fast toy is going to get close, but I don't think they will get out of the range of my docky yet. So eventually, there's going to be a very nice time where everything goes past this singular docky, but this one docky alone is doing a ton of DPS. Look at it this way, right? It's 8,160 damage on spawn, like on placement, with 5.4 SPA. And on top of that, this has zero upgrades which is really insane and then also the range on placement too look at this i'm also a little bit confused about oshi in this game right now anyway because it seems like oshi isn't going to be limited because she doesn't have a limited thing to her like usually whenever you get a limited unit you'll see that it's like limited it'll say that it's limited it's that sort of thing and for oshi's normal like not her shiny version it says that she isn't limited whether or not that's a bug i'm not entirely sure but maybe after the pass is over, people are able to pull for Oshi. So we have maxed out Oshi 2 now as well. Now hopefully I can get some more money again because I desperately need it. And then I can place eyes in here. I'd rather take damage from these toys than the flying ones though. So we should be okay, I think. As long as the game will let me spawn in my eyes in time, please. Oh my god, please. End the wave so that way I can place my eyes in, please. I lost to that? Aizen, why didn't you even attack, bro? Oh my god, dude. It would have worked as well as long as my Aizen would have attacked. I should have maybe did the whole placement and then slapped the ability on Aizen or whatnot, but what a pain, dude. Oh my god.
Yeah, don't worry. So I'll figure out my strategy for doing this whole infinite shit. And then maybe if I get Doflamingo and Luffy or some shit, I'll actually be able to get further in this. But for right now, I'm struggling a little bit. And that's mainly because of the fact that I'm not placing down a hybrid unit that can deal with flying or a hill unit in general that can deal with flying either way. So we'll see how that goes in the future. I will let you guys know in the next progression video on anime adventures. Now, before I go though, of course, the style of this video and the style of future anime adventure videos are going to be somewhat like this. There's always going to be some sort of progression series that I'm doing because I love that stuff. I love it so, so very much. And I will also say though that the only difficulties I, I faced, even getting to this point, at least, of this game, is I've only really faced problems where I was trying to, to play with other players. Because it's like, you get to a certain point where you need to use the Anime Adventure Discord to join other people's private servers, to be able to run certain levels with other players. But sometimes you get people that are really bad at the game, and then other times you just get people that will straight up wait and waste your time. Because they will wait for you to get into the lobby with them, and then they will leave the second that you and them load into the lobby. That happened to me twice yesterday, just getting into lobbies for Wave 60 Puppet Island Infinite. And I have no idea why people were doing that to me, but I got super aggravated. But what I did is I just kept going next, basically. And then that's how I uh, overcame that. But yeah, overall, I got to work on my dream teams. I'm specifically going to be aiming for my infinite and story teams. Let me know what you guys thought about the infinite story teams. And let me know what you guys would say is your dream team and why. Or let me know in a nice a criticizing manner about what I could do to fix my dream teams or what could make them even better. In conclusion, my luck for this game sucks. I just got black hair. Okay. But yeah, my luck for this game sucks. And I am going to keep trying to get Luffy, keep trying to get Doflamingo. Finally set up my dream teams. Maybe Evo some characters for my teams as well that I don't have Evoed. Such as my golden Gutoro, because, you know, having Gutoro maxed out as well would be very nice for the combination of docking Gutoro, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, that's going to be it for me, and I can't wait to see all of you guys in the next one. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Bye bye